Hands really should flare in front of you. All we're going to do is hold onto his heels and just drive the knees forward. And then you've got to sit up and get on top, okay? That's just a free bit. Have a go in it. It won't work most of the time. If the guy's only good, it won't work. So again, if you're standing with both his legs square and relative, I can push my feet if I want to. It's just a bit like your feet can slip off and stuff like that, you can pop them off. Whereas if I bring my knees together and flare my heels out and push through, it's really, you can't avoid it. Okay. Getting up at the end is probably the most important thing that everybody doesn't do. Everybody, when people do this to me, because um, I'm quite sloppy and lazy at times, they'll knock me on my back. I don't just bounce straight back up and I'm back on top again. Get up. If you get somebody back on their back, get up on top. Right. Okay, so this time what we're going to do is we're going to be working with guys standing up in a car. We're going to try and coax them into doing some of his hands. So we're going to try and give them off balance. And as soon as we grab one of them, which is one of our knees, we're going to grab and control that wrist. Okay? Control the wrist in a minute, I'm going to control with both arms. Then what we're going to do, let's have up both my um, both my elevators on the inside. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring one to his stomach, two to his side, one to his ass, sorry, one to his heel. I'm going to grab his heel here and I'm going to drive through. <coughs> Come up on top. Okay, it's called a broom sweep. So remember, if you're standing up, you know, if I open his hand, I can still do this sweep, but it's just not quite as effective. So I'm going to come here, try and control the wrist, switch it to the, to the opposite hand. So what do they have free to grab that heel? I'm going to come down here. This comes to his heel, okay? So the heel which I'm grabbing, I've got the opposite heel with my leg. Then I use the other one to punch through him. Punch. And I come up on top. No time for me straight up on top, straight away thinking of passing. Okay, so I'm not thinking of just getting up, I'm thinking of getting up, straight to the ground, trying to get past his guard. One last time. Guys working here, notice how I'm keeping my elbows nice and tight so if you just start to escape and get around, I've got an easy way of controlling without too much risk. Okay? If he starts to walk away from me, I don't start reaching out with my legs like this, too exposed. Okay, so I'm staying pretty tight. But the guy's trying to get my feet on the inside. Okay, so he's trying to get inside. So I'm here, once I get down, I start to work here. I get control of one wrist, grab here, opposite wrist, grab. So grab opposite wrist. Words out. Heel, foot in the stomach, calf in there. I'm not hacking it with my heel. I'm not even trying to whack it. I'm just going to put it there and punch. Come back up on top. Okay? Okay, great partners, give it a 